I would be lying if I said it was an easy project because there is so many steps to it but that's what I'm here to explain you every single one it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation, welcome to my channel first of all though, don't pay attention to the paper I'm using I'm gonna change it <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna be using prayer and three of Paper Art Cypress Skochinish uh, Chalk Acrylics Koala, Steel Grey and Venice Blue so I am putting them on my palette and um, I'm gonna be also using my all-time favorite snowflake also from Paper Artsy and uh, I'm showing you that I wanted to trim this page to fit it into my art journal but I found out that actually uh, on one side it doesn't uh, fit properly, it's way too small that's why I'm replacing it with uh, the paint on paper which is basically mixed media paper which is a tiny bit uh, larger and now I'm gonna be applying my paints with the brayer and yes, I am thinking now <laughs> how to do it because I am always leaving some white space so I wanted to know on which side of the paper I'm gonna actually uh, adding my uh, paint uh, I was uh, deeply influenced by uh, France Papillon uh, she's doing beautiful art journal pages uh, but she usually covers them all uh, and I absolutely love them, uh, love them but I don't have this uh, you know this easiness I think to cover the whole page that's why I am doing my way <laughs> a little leaving a white uh, space as almost always on my creations and so you've seen me, I just applied the paints uh, with the brayer one after the other and at the end I finished with the white to add a little bit of smoothness and kind of nicer continuity if it comes to, you know, the white part of the page and the page with the colors so, the, you know, the difference is not so striking now I'm using one of my uh, new, well, um, yes, new uh, stencil hexagons and um, I am uh, using a sponge this is a makeup sponge i'm sure uh, which i bought uh, for a purpose of uh, doing a journal <laughs> and um, i'm applying the two colors um, that would be koala and i think um, steel gray if i'm not mistaken uh, as always list of colors you're gonna find in the description box below and i clean the stencil straight away because what's very important when you're using acrylics you have to clean your uh, your stencils straight away otherwise um, the paint is gonna stay on it and now I'm using a second of my stencil and it's uh, dotted it's called dotted and uh, a little uh, different sponge this time uh, because that was just handy that's what I had at hand and I'm adding a little uh, you know kind of uh, well, dots they are not really dots but um, kind of something else to the hexagons and you can already see uh, the deepness on the page you know the hexagons which are um, you know quite uh, um, the color is quite striking or quite dark uh, and the uh, background which is um, very uh, like dreamy and I added a little bit of um, um, embossing with the um, with uh, Lindiskank embossing powder and there was a stamp from um, Paper Artsy and I'm really sorry if I am <laughs> I'm losing my uh, mind a little I think uh, I'm not managing to speak correctly um, I'm recovering from Covid ah. <laughs> it's uh, it's been uh, an adventure I have to say uh, it wasn't maybe a um, <laughs> that uh, that hard but it lasts long and i'm not sure if tomorrow i'm gonna feel better or worse so you know it's kind of a weird sickness i have to admit uh, so we were all sick and this is the project i just made uh, almost before like one or two days before uh, before we fall uh, sick and it's already i think fifth day of the sickness so and as 
yes, I am chatting here and you haven't, uh, you've seen something uh, else happening on the uh, page. So basically I added crunch paste, which is basically kind of modeling paste from a paper artsy with again my stencil in completely different places. So you can see they are off, but um, if it comes to the first hexagons I added with the sponge. Uh, that's done on purpose, of course, to add more, um, you know, more interest to the page. And um, you know, if you'd stamp or if you stencil them on the same place, so you know that would, it will be pointless, basically. So that's why I put them a little bit off. Of course, I'm showing you my completely dirty hands. I always manage to make myself dirty. And I am using uh, Lindy's Gang Sprays. First it was Whale Watch Blue and now uh, Blazing Black. Uh, and applying it beside the um, stenciled part, you know, beside the raised hexagons. So like that it will stay beside it and it will make a kind of a shadow, which as a uh, in a result will make the hexagons pop uh, out even more. And to again make them a little bit more visible because the crunch paste is a little yellowish, I am covering them with the snowflake acrylic. I like that with my finger delicately, so it's just you know, you see straight away the difference. The white color gives so much also interest when you have a darker background, and that's very good to remember always. If you have a white background, use uh, black. If you, you know, if you are missing something, if you think your colors are too mild or your page is too mild, and the opposite, if your background is dark, use white. And so like that, that will make the um, things pop out, and it will make them look uh, even more beautiful. And now I am adding some background stamping with paper artsy stamps and this one is a La Blanche uh, stamp which I haven't used for ages, I bought it like two years ago but I kind of hide it because it was big and I found it recently. And uh, my stamp uh, from Indigo Blue uh, which um, uh, I kind of really like this one because you know it's like a uh, the small numbers which kind of fall in like a, um, I don't know, binary code, I'd say. And uh, part of my focal point is this stamp from uh, L'Encre et Limage. It's a French brand um, and it's uh, they have really, really beautiful stamps. And just to make it pop a little bit more, I'm using my uh, Stabilo All um, pencil, which is basically a watercolor pencil but you can write with it on almost everything, like plastic and glass and things like that. But if you add some water, it will, uh, you know, behave like a watercolor. And I wanted to add even more uh, dark accents, so that's why I'm using my Unipin uh, uh, pen. And I'm kind of drawing quickly uh, all around the, uh, you know, bottoms, uh, bottoms, <laughs> not bottoms, but bottom of almost each uh, of the hexagons. Now, once again, I'm gonna be adding some white accents so on the top, uh, like, you know, a kind of a play between shadow and the light. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, I will give you a link to uh, France Papillon and her YouTube channel uh, in the description box below because uh, she explains everything very well. She has, uh, she knows a lot of techniques and, uh, you know, uh, she is somebody which is really, really uh, worth to follow if you want to uh, uh, learn well uh, mixed media uh, or um, art journaling. Uh, you've seen me, of course. <laughs> I had some more uh, some splatter because, uh, you know, uh, there is splatter needed on the page. And as you've seen, I also added some uh, kind of white light into the uh, main hexagon. And that changed completely uh, also uh, the look of it. And those are my pre cutted pictures I took from internet. Uh, I have, uh, I wanted to show you, um, you know, sometimes when I'm watching something, I'm just cutting them. And then, like that, I put them with the, uh, you know, uh, with this repo repositionable uh, glue on the piece of uh, uh, cardboard, and I have them, you know, ready to go. And I just seen uh, this is a girl, I think, 
uh, this girl and I thought that she will be uh, looking really nicely sitting on this uh, big hexagon. I'm darkening the edges with uh, archival ink jet black and I'm using Lumo color pencil uh, underneath the hexagons and this is a permanent pencil but it kind of um, to me it kind of looks like almost charcoal pen pencil it has uh, it's also very when you write with it it's kind of like um, it gives very thick greasy line and for that I'm using my also uh, stamp tool uh, with which I am kind of slightly spreading the uh, you know the pencil I'm gonna add to the page um, the sentence from my really messy words mm. and uh, just to finish the page I'm gonna be adding also a tiny bit of splatter with uh, the fresco finished chalk acrylics a little black dress and uh, that is the end of the whole page I hope you enjoyed this tutorial even though you know I'm talking like a crazy person <laughs> Well, that's always the case, I think, anyway. I cannot finish. I think it's like a 10 takes of me talking and saying goodbye and I don't manage. <laughs> okay, guys, um, this is really goodbye from me. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you like my videos, uh, there is a notification button also to hit to be um, sure you don't miss anything. And uh, please check my shop. Uh, you have a link below and uh, you can find there all my words and all my stencils and some stamps also i hope you really enjoyed that uh, and i hope i'm gonna see you in the next video and meanwhile i wish you good health <laughs> most of all and uh, craft away see you soon bye bye